Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding it in my hand. I'm playing Madden 20 with the Vikings. Dude, it's so freaking outlandishly Viking-like. Using the balance playbook this time. I'm yeah, assuming. dude, as always, I'm playing offense only. I'm simming the D. I know you like to get your intro off. You love the simulated D, dude. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to get your intro off. Dude. Jones, what would it take for you to kill a man? Nothing. Uh, bull crap. I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I don't think. Wow. I All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what even brought me to this point. I was just, I was on Reddit uh, in betwixt our videos, uh, and yes. I watched a quick video on Public Freakout about this guy. Or it was in the caption was like, uh, dude gets taught cheating and girlfriend goes and slaps his mom. Oh. And I saw this woman slap this dude's mom. But why would she slap your mom? <laughs> because she felt disrespected, and I guess the only way to counter disrespect is with more disrespect. <laughs> well, I mean, because you so reap what you sow, I guess. She, she's a toxic person. Bull crap! I will shoot somebody if you slap. Oh my God, Jonas! It made me angry because I was just thinking about my own mom. Like someone slapping your mother. Oh man! <laughs> oh. Woo! I will go to jail. Listen, you know what, Jonas, man? I'm going to tell you right now. Something about me is that... Smoke it's, rocks? <laughs> <laughs> something have, you don't know me about me, Jonas. I'll have one crack, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can take levels of disrespect far more that are directed towards me than directed towards the people that I, I care about. Okay. Um, my right. mom would be the pinnacle oh, yeah, absolutely. of that of those people I care about. Right, right. But like I said, I was ready to get into a fight the one night when a dude just was being a little too handsy. A little, a little too handsy with you putting his arm around your neck and laughing and giggling because he was a little too drunk. <laughs> I was ready to fight. <laughs> well, I appreciate you being willing to come to my defense Yo, that quick. To the point where I've had dreams about it since then. <laughs> <laughs> where I'm disappointed at myself for not interjecting. I was fine for her. I know, but, but I, I could have so, not been. I was so mad, dude. Yeah, I was he, so, like, how dare you touch my boy? Well, yeah, because he could have like just snapped my neck real quick, and that would have been a whole different night. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if you just if you happen to be Liu Kang, I was just like, nah, nah, and I just fell to the yeah, floor. Yeah, or he like just started shanking you or something. <laughs> He's like, oh, puts his arm around my neck. He's just like, nah, 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 and walks away like. <laughs> Hands the shank off to his friend as they yeah. walk by. He <laughs> like wraps in a newspaper, a, throws a, in the trash. A planned hit on me at the bar for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jones, you might owe him cigarettes. <laughs> so been. he's like, "You asked me for a cigarette, you didn't give me a quarter." Yeah, I got. So, you. do you feel like you would do? Like, I, okay, I, I don't want to like wish anything bad on your mom or anything, <laughs> no, or even like bring this that is conversation. All hypothetical to the, before we get into it. Yeah, I want to bring the conversation to the table. But if somebody were to do something disrespectful to your mother, I don't think I would like immediately go to the kill. Well, I'm not saying that's the first place you got to go, but it could get you there. It could get you Maybe. there. Maybe. It's the vehicle Dude. that could, disrespecting my mom is the vehicle yeah, that could but, get me okay. to prison. Here's a Easy. thing that I don't know if you know about me. I, I don't love my mom. <laughs> 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 F that. <laughs> I love when we finish each other's sentence. It's like the most inappropriate thing we could possibly put there. <laughs> what do you know about me? I don't love my mother. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm the one that hit her. No. Um, <laughs> But uh, it I I've never been really super angry. Yeah, like, but I don't feel like anybody's ever disrespected your mom to your face yeah, either. Yeah, but I like I don't know, man. Like I don't. It's just like I'm so I let so much go. Yeah. Like, but yeah, like I guess if like someone just walked up and punched my mother in the face. Yo, I, if somebody punched your mom, I'm I'm gonna. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm gonna get them for I'm you. I'm mad, dude. I'm mad right now. I'm so pissed. Talk about somebody punching anybody's mom. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> there's a bunch of people out there. There's way more moms I don't care if they get punched than yeah, my, mine or yours. But your mom is, she's a very oh. nice lady. Ah. 
shield. And I would not accept anybody doing anything of the sorts. I feel like, I mean, I would definitely, like, stand up for my mother. Would I, like, yeah. could I get to the point? I don't, dude, I literally don't think anyone could do anything that would make me want to kill them. Now, see, now we've had the conversation about, like, girls getting guys into fights at the bar because they're like, yeah, let them talk to me oh, like that. Oh, yeah, dude. Mm. Yo, that kind of ish right there ain't going to do it for me. I don't know if I'm more apt to defend my mother or my friends than I am a girlfriend. <laughs> it's effed up as that sounds. Because I'm just like, lady, you an adult. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, funny, though, is like your mother's an adult, too. Yeah, but... That's look, my mama. <laughs> that's my f- mama, fam. Well, yeah, well, it's almost like... and It's, fun, it's almost like... Um, but you also, like, hold the people, like, your family, whether it's blood family or, like, these people are my family because we're so close. Yeah. You hold those people closer to you than, like, any girlfriend does. So I think that's why you. Yeah, a hundred percent. And so like, I, and f- funny enough, Jonas, I can't necessarily say the same for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely certain. Fa- I have a sister, and uh, you know she's a little wild. And she's a little wild. <laughs> she is. She's a little wild. And so you feel like if something like that happened to her, she might have done something that. I kind of feel like you got yourself in that situation <laughs> for being wild all these years. I, okay. So I'm not going to run and defend you because your boyfriend like uh, pushed you over the coffee table. Let me ask Let me ask you this thing. Like, I'm why not going to use him? your mother because I don't want to like put her speaking any negative way about your mother. <laughs> sure. Say like someone's mother was acting a fool and got in some trouble and someone disrespected her. Would that change your reasoning about going at, like, you know what I mean? Okay, so if my, let's just go ahead in and say it. In this example, <laughs> your mom is acting a fool on someone. For whatever reason, yes. and then they do something to disrespect her. Are you more apt to go straight to it, or you'd be like, "Hey, don't do it with my mom like that," but then you'd be like, "Mom, who acting a fool?" Yo, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you f with my mom, you effing with me. Period. Okay. Dot. Whether she's wrong or not. Okay. You effing with my mom, you effing with me. F- okay. All right. I, f- I was just curious. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. like for the same, like imagine if your mom acted the way your sister acts, would you still feel that way about your mom? Ooh. That one, I guess is where I was. Okay. Where that, well, see where that question came from. If see, your whole, you, you know, your whole like, mom, you're acting a fool all the time. Like, of course. See, it's a difference between having a wild moment and a wild lifestyle. <laughs> true. That's very <laughs> true. Right. If my mom is having a wild moment, then yeah, she's right. Sorry. Right, right, right. Yes. Yeah, she may be acting out of, out, of, out of sorts at the moment, but yeah. she's still my mom. She's right. <laughs> yeah. But if she's living a wild lifestyle, I'm going to see a lost cause. <laughs> okay. And it, 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 the only other instance I could think of of somebody that I would protect to the extent of my mom is if I had a daughter, which is why I have no children. What about a son? What, what do you mean? You, you gotta fight for your son? Well, protect him from what? He's a boy. He better protect himself. <laughs> yeah, there's a double standard. You're Absolutely. All like, you're all like, that man just came up and hit you. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> Yo, unless it's like, okay, well, you know, now I'm thinking like, like if my son is going to like a high school and there's like some minorities that are beating up on him every day, you just gonna let that slide. Why's it gotta be minorities? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Just because I feel like that's every white man's fear. All right, so <laughs> my son is like, my son is going to school and he's getting bullied. Then yes, I could see myself interjecting in that. But it ain't going to be to that level. The only other thing, okay, a son, I would have to, if, like, some older woman was trying to, like, seduce my son or some older man was trying to seduce my son, right, right, right. that's an issue. But with daughters, it is a little different, man. So, like, but I but I feel like from what you're saying, if you had a teenage daughter and a underage boy disrespected her, you would go to jail to beat the F out of that kid. I'm not saying I'm going to go to jail, but I'm saying it's like, it could go there. Right. It you could definitely. You'd be mad enough that, like, you could yeah. see yourself striking like a minor child that yeah. did something to your daughter. That's it, like exactly like, like he like, tried to sexually assault or he smacked her. He, you know, did something very over the line. Yes. Not just calling her a name or something, but like yes, because as soon as as soon as that information is brought to my attention, <laughs> your your I, anger just <laughs> it's like I could turn right and I could just go to work that day, <laughs> or I could turn left and potentially end up in jail. <laughs> right. I'm going left because things ain't going right. They're going left at this point. Right, right, right. right, right. So I, I mean, I'm, I've never been to jail except that one time. 
and it was it was not cool. Yeah, I've never been. I plan to keep that record intact <laughs> if I can help it. It's not. It wasn't even a crime. <laughs> I didn't even create. I didn't even do a crime, dude. I didn't even crime. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't crime. I promise. I didn't even crime, dude. <laughs> A suspended license and bad license plate is not a reason to lock me up, dude. That's true, I guess. It's just, it's just like... It's not even a crime. Invalid paperwork. Exactly! <laughs> you gonna get me on paperwork, fam? <laughs> practice? What are you talking, talking about, about practice? practice? <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, yes. It's not suspended due to violations. Yeah. <laughs> like, it ain't like I have 100 speeding tickets. Yeah, it's my car. I got the papers for it right here. <laughs> You didn't spend sixty dollars to get your tags for you. I know. And they took your ass to jail. <laughs> they did, man. They put me in freaking handcuffs. And I'm like, yo. <laughs> I'm like having a conversation with the officer. Well, officer, <laughs> we're gonna lock you up, son. <laughs> I can give you sixty dollars right now. Yo, I was so mad about that. Oh, oh yeah. my god. It's fun. you know, Jenny. It's funny that I went to jail for. Having suspended license and bad license plate, but when a c police officer caught me, now this was years and years ago. I want to preface that by saying this, but when a police officer caught me with a drug paraphernalia in the car, I got to go home and just go to court a week later. <laughs> the frick kind of world are we living in, <laughs> right? What kind of world? <laughs> now, Jonas, this happened. Uh, almost 20 years ago but i was riding home from work and i was just like you know what i'm gonna light up some marijuana i'm gonna light up some marijuana so i had a glass pipe that i used before that many many years ago no longer associated with that until it's legal until <laughs> But many, many years ago. The spicy oregano, eh? So I, I'm driving home, and I'm puffing on a little bit. I only worked, I only lived five minutes away. Five minutes from my house. Yeah. Notice the lights. Oh, must be a sub, must be a, uh, must be an accident up ahead is what I thought. No, sobriety checkpoint. Oh, so Jesus. I roll my window down and he says, hey, how are you doing tonight? I'm like, I'm fine. He's like, uh, where are you headed? I'm like, I'm going home. Just got off of work. And he's like, is there any more marijuana in the car? And I was like, yes, officer, there is. And I handed it all over. He let me go home, but I still had to go to court. But God forbid I got bad plates and license. <laughs> now I got to go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to jail. At that point, you're a criminal, bro. You're deceptive on purpose. It's ridiculous. I didn't even try to hide the fact that my plates were bad. You could have just let me go home then. Yeah. I could have just got on the bus, fam. Here, impound the car. I'll just take the bus. <laughs> All right. You got. You caught me. <laughs> yeah, you got me. Yep, I well, didn't renew But no, I got to go to jail. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Why? <laughs> I'm serious. How the hell am I going to get my license renewed if I'm in jail? It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing in the world. Yeah, dude. Now I'm mad, dude. This hap <laughs> that happened like 20 years ago, too. <laughs> so you're going to be in there the rest of the night just stewing over like that GD guy. I'm seriously mad about that. If you can't. I think we need to change the laws. If they catch you without a license or registration or, like, no insurance or whatever, impound the car. I think it depends what the license is suspended for. Uh, For not getting it renewed. Like, it was so it was just expired. It wasn't yeah. suspended, like, from parking tickets or anything. Uh, did, yeah. Did you have, like, tickets that were causing it? No, 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 no. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't suspended at the time. It was just that I hadn't gotten it renewed. Oh, okay. So you had expired plates and license. Yes. Okay. Then yeah, that's fine. But like if like even if it was suspended for like having outstanding parking tickets, which they'll do, I think that would be fine too. But if you're driving on suspended license because you have DUIs or because you had ninety no, speeding tickets, no. you should go to jail for that. No, Joe, I'm not a criminal, Jonas. I know you're not. So why are you trying to make me out to be a criminal? I'm not a crimer. I don't do. I don't do. <laughs> officer, there's no crime. I don't do crimes. I haven't done. <laughs> That's like I, I just don't understand, man. It just didn't make any sense to me that I had to go to jail for that. It's like, yo, you caught me. All right, send me on my way. Take the car. 
Cool. You caught me. He's like, nope, handcuffs. Book. Handcuffs in jail. Eight hours in jail. Get the hell out of here. Have you ever let your license or plates expire since? Absolutely. Oh, wow. You didn't even learn your lesson. (laughs) Absolutely have. He didn't even learn it. He was trying to teach you a lesson. No, I ain't learned my lesson, dude. Get the frick out of here. Lesson these nuts. (laughs) You can lesson. Can you lesson my nuts, please? (laughs) (laughs) Is that what a vasectomy is? Lessening your nuts? (laughs) I mean, I had one of those, too. fair all right that's all the time we have for today's episode please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that send all of your friends our way because we have a lot and we need more for jonas we'll catch you on the next one we are out